young lives supporting others, but it has emerged that young carers aren't getting the emotional help they need themselves. Around 700,000 children in the UK to look after a family member with a disability, illness or a mental health problem. But there's also been a worrying rise in those children reporting that they feel lonely and isolated. Sky's Gerard Tubb has this report. For 13-year-old Georgia, doing the household washing is part of her role as a part-time carer. She's one of an estimated 700,000 youngsters who are relied on to provide care in their own homes. It can make children feel different and isolated. With my friends and everything, they try to understand it, but they don't really. I mean, it's like nice that they try, but they don't get it really. Other people do like chores and they get pocket money, but like I don't get pocket money and like do more. I don't tell everyone, I only tell my friends and then they like know my mum and everything so they knew something was wrong to start with. Research by two charities, Action for Children and Carers Trust, found half of young carers are working for four hours or more every day during the summer holidays, and three quarters feel lonely. Georgia's mum, who has mobility problems and has been in and out of hospital, thinks all young carers should have support during the school holidays. I would like um, the service to be available where if Georgia needed to speak to somebody, she could. Um, so between certain hours, certain days a week, if she could pick up the phone and speak to the carers, um, the helpers, the, that's, that's, that would be available for her. The Carers Trust is calling for central funding to pay for the help young carers need. Extra funding would certainly go some way to helping um, provide additional services to children and young people who are acting as young carers. But ideally, actually, they should never be put in the position of being a young carer. And actually, the health service and um, the government should think about how we ensure that people who have special needs, who have disabilities or mental health or other problems, actually get the right level of support. Georgia is full of praise for the help she gets during term time. It's the lack of help in the holidays that causes problems. Gerard Tubb, Sky News, Leeds. Well, we have heard from the government in a statement on this issue. They say we recognise carers make an invaluable contribution in selflessly caring for their loved ones, but in turn can often be susceptible to experiencing loneliness, which is why their own health and happiness will be a consideration in the development of the cross-government loneliness strategy. Our Carers Action Plan sets out measures to support carers in every aspect of their lives over the next two years, and our forthcoming social care green paper will be looking at long-term sustainable solutions for the social care system.